Reload. Lock and load. Blast them, partner. Blast them, partner. Blast them, partner. Here's how you play the game. First, power on the blaster using the safety switch. Then, press the reset button to get started. The OLED screen will show the startup graphic, then indicate that it's waiting for a Bluetooth connection to the target. Turn the power on to the target using the switch at the bottom. The lights will temporarily flash yellow, then turn blue once it gets that Bluetooth connection. Then, the screen on the blaster will prompt you to press the joystick in to start the game. There are three different commands. First, there's Reload! This requires removing the clip that is currently in the blaster and replacing it with the other clip that can be found in your holster. Next, there's Lock and Load! This requires pulling the slider at the top of the blaster back in order to prime it. Last, there's Blast them, partner! Here's where you take your aim at the target and pull the trigger. A laser pointer on the blaster will indicate where your shot has landed. These tasks will keep repeating in a random order, with the time to complete each one decreasing as you progress. If you get it right, the LEDs will light up green and your score on the screen will increase. If you get it wrong, the LEDs will light up red and you'll lose a life. If you get all three wrong, you lose the round and it's game over, partner. To beat the game and prove you'd make a mighty fine space cowboy, make it all the way to 99. Now, let's take a look at how it works, starting with the reload. The Rootin' Tootin' ESP32 microcontroller in your blaster can tell which clip is inside with the help of a sneaky little trick. On the inside of the blaster we have two aluminum plates which make contact with the two matching aluminum plates on each clip. The circuit's then completed by a resistor inside the clip. The analog to digital converter on the ESP32 then reads in a voltage based on that circuit. The other clip then has a different resistor value inside of it, which means that the ADC reads in a different voltage, letting us identify which one is installed. Now let's look at the locking and loading function. When the slider is pulled back, it pushes on a little push button, sending a digital signal to the microcontroller. The slider is spring loaded, so it automatically returns to its initial state when released. Lastly, let's see how you blast them, partner. When you pull the trigger, it contacts a spring-loaded push button, sending a digital signal to the ESP32, and turning the laser pointer on so you can see where it aimed. Then, an IR emitter sends out an encoded message, sort of like a smoke signal, to the target. If you hit the target, it reads that message, then talks back to the blaster over Bluetooth to indicate a successful hit. Now remember, only you can prevent space invasions. Oh!